Hello everyone, greeting from Sri Vidya Niketan Public School. Today we see under resources and development, the second unit that is development of the resource. In the previous class we came to know the meaning and the classification of resources. Today we see what is the meaning of development of the resource. Why resources are needed and why we need to develop the resources. Here we see resources are vital for human survival and as well as to maintain the quality of life. Without resources we cannot survive. Hence resources are a very very what you call very very important in our life. We see the water. For example if we take water we see that people make use of water in a reckless way. There are certain areas, like for example in Rajasthan, there is shortage of resource and we see that large number of what you call people come in what you call uh, to fetch water by taking the pots. But in the same way, in a rich family, in other place, we see that uh, water is being utilized by people in a reckless way either for washing car or for washing vessels, what you call large amount of water is being wasted. Some people feel that resources are gifts of nature. So let us make use in an indiscriminate way. So this kind of indiscriminate use of resources has caused hell number of problems. What are the problems that have been caused by the indiscriminate use of resources. Here, broadly speaking, there are three types of problems which have been caused by the indiscriminate use of what you call resources. The first one is depletion of resources. We are depleting resources so as to meet the needs of the population or people. Take for example, deforestation is taking place. Forests are being cut for various purposes for making furniture, for cultivating the land and for construction of buildings. Forests all have been cleared and what you call it, uh, this resource has been depleted. And the next one is accumulation of resources in few hands. Here we see there are a few people who are very rich and are making use of the resources to the full extent and there are people who are very poor and who are finding it very difficult to use the resources. So this has created a class called as a haves and have-nots or rich and poor what we call. Rich as well as poor class what we call. And the third one is due to indiscriminate use of resources what has happened that is global ecological crisis have been, have been caused. This global crisis have been caused because of clearing the forest and where we see that industrialization is taking place due to industrialization pollution has been increased and which in turn has resulted in the what we call global ecological crisis. Then what is the solution for it? Shall we leave it like that only? No, we cannot leave it in the same way. In a reckless way, we should not allow the people to make use of the resources. Then what has to be done? <coughs> Here we see the sustainable development, what we call it. That is sustainable development. Sustainable development of the resource. What do you mean by sustainable development of the resource? After knowing the problems of this, what is the outcome of it or solution for this? So the solution is sustainable development of the resources. Then what do you mean by sustainable development of the resource? That is resources should be utilized in a proper and a judicious way. It clearly states that that is resources, I mean 
the without damaging the environment we are supposed to make use of the resources not only that keeping in view that the future generation should not suffer with the damage which is being caused by the present generation so in this way the proper utilization has to be done of the resources means that is sustainable development of the resource then the outcome of this that is after this sustainable development we see that at the global level awareness has been created to what you call a for sustainable development of resources what were the steps taken at the global level the very first step taken by the global level was that the earth summit was held the first this is also being called as rio conference or the first earth summit also it is called so this earth summit was held in the year 1992 where it was held it was held at rio de janeiro in brazil where we see that more than 100 heads of the states heads in the sense either he may be a president he or she may be a president or a prime minister these people have met at the rio de janeiro so to so as to discuss the what we call it discuss about the problems which have been created by environmental degradation and other aspects here we see that this earth summit which was held by 100 more than 100 heads discussed about or conveyed addressing urgent problems of environmental protection since the environment has been damaged by the people so we need to take serious steps for the protection of what is called environment along with that they also had discuss certain other issues like socio economic development at the global level apart from that a declaration was also signed that is on the global climatic change and biological diversity so these were the main points which have been discussed by the leaders at the global level at the brazil in what is called at rio de janeiro in brazil so here these people not only discussed these burning issues at the same time an outcome also has been drawn by these people what is the outcome that is agenda 21 agenda 21 what it means it means that it is a declaration which is signed by the leaders that is more than 100 leaders who have gathered there to discuss the problems of i mean the urgent problems which have been caused at global level that is a declaration has been signed through this declaration what did they try to do they try to achieve global sustainable development not only that in this global sustainable development there was it is a combat it is called that is combat to fight against environmental damage not only the poverty related issues also have been discussed apart from the certain diseases related to diseases also discussion has been done and apart from that it is also been said that all the countries not only attended the what you call the uh, global meet at the gram in rio de janeiro they were also forced to draw a local agenda of their country so that in what best way they can protect environment at the same time eradicate poverty as well as diseases from the global level so hope you might have understood the concept that is a what you call today concept that is development of resource so related to this a worksheet will be provided to you dear children please complete it and submit thank you